We Democrats still have a dream. We still believe in this nation's future. And this is our answer to the question. This is our credo. We believe in only the government we need, but we insist on all the government we need. We believe in a government that is characterized by fairness and reasonableness, a reasonableness that goes beyond labels, that doesn't distort or promise to do things that we know we can't do. We believe in a government strong enough to use words like love and compassion and smart enough to convert our noblest aspirations into practical realities. We believe in encouraging the talented but we believe that while survival of the fittest may be a good working description of the process of evolution, a government of humans should elevate itself to a higher order. We, our, our, government, our government should be able to rise to the level where it can fill the gaps that are left by chance or by a wisdom we don't fully understand. We would rather have laws written by the patron of this great city, the man called the world's most sincere Democrat, St. Francis of Assisi, than laws written by Darwin. We believe we believe as Democrats that a society as blessed as ours, the most affluent democracy in the world's history, one that can spend trillions on instruments of destruction, ought to be able to help the middle class in its struggle, ought to be able to find work for all who can do it, room at the table, shelter for the homeless, care for the elderly and infirm, and hope for the destitute. And we proclaim as loudly as we can the utter insanity of nuclear proliferation and the need for a nuclear freeze, if only to affirm the simple truth that peace is better than war because life is better than death. We believe in firm, we believe in firm, but fair law and order. We believe proudly in the union movement. We believe in a... We believe, we believe in privacy for people, openness by government. We believe in civil rights and we believe in human rights. We believe in a single, we believe in a single fundamental idea that describes better than most textbooks and any speech that I could write what a proper government should be. The idea of family, mutuality, the sharing of benefits and burdens for the good of all, feeling one another's pain, sharing one another's blessings reasonably, honestly, fairly, without respect to race or sex or geography or political affiliation, we believe we must be the family of America, recognizing that at the heart of the matter we are bound one to another, that the problems of a retired school teacher in Duluth are our problems, that the future of the child, that the future of the child in Buffalo is our future, that the struggle of a disabled man in Boston to survive and live decently is our struggle that the hunger of a woman in Little Rock is our hunger, that the failure anywhere to provide what reasonably we might to avoid pain is our failure.